All right, guys, to so watch this for Thursday, August 4th. Um, the, the SPY trying to break down out of this range yesterday and he's sort of back up into the lower end, lower end or lower portion, I guess, of that range today. Um, we'll see what happens. Nice bounce off the 20-day, but still nothing drastic. So that just means business as usual for me being an intraday trader. And so let's go into the list. KOOL, nice gap up today. Uh, this one's a low floater and can really move at times, as you can see back here and here. Um, and it's showing some nice strength lately. Uh, so you had a few days where it gapped up or a gap up here, gap up here, gap up here. All of them failed. Then a gap up above recent highs on really big volume this morning. It failed also, but this is a great candidate for an intraday turn to the upside. Um, maybe tomorrow, may never happen, but uh, it'll be on a chart for the rest of, uh, rest of the week and we'll keep an eye on it. Um, that one can really move when it, when it sets up right. TOPS, one of those shippers that went crazy, uh, gapped up yesterday, sold off. Sold off today, but found some uh, found some buying down here. That one goes on potential long watch tomorrow. That is uh, TOPS. Another low float shipper, SINO, was all the way up over 280. Now back down uh, to around a dollar 80 today. Um, if TOPS runs, we're going to also look to SINO for a potential uh, potential upside move. XCOM was on bounce watch today. No trigger, no kind of entry, and now we've got another down day. Um, this was uh, what, uh, 263 a couple sessions ago, down to $1.50 um, near the 20 day. So that's a good candidate on much lower volume, by the way, till you see that volume decline. So this is a good candidate for a turn back up tomorrow. Another low float shipper, SHIP. Huge move, quiet inside day. This thing is a, kind of a nasty trader. It's my least favorite of the three. I like TOPS and SINO more, but you know what? We're going to throw that one on the watch list too. Z-A-G-G -G, gapped up, but sellers caught a hold of it. I'm actually going to look for that turn back up in that one tomorrow. Again, only with a proper intraday setup. D-E-L-T um, had a huge move, and then it's just been kind of bleeding lower. Uh, it did come down into the 200-day today. Also hit the 8-day. Um, just goes on bounce watch. I'd really like to see volume come into that before I would try to trade it. But you know what? It doesn't cost me anything to have it on a chart. N-F-E-C has had some really big spikes lately here, here, here. Um, and showing some strength again. So I want to watch that one for potential long. Can really move at times, low floater. Want to keep our eyes on it. GoPro, GPRO, um, you know, had this pop back here and it's sort of a little cup and handle and it's really trying to break to the upside. If nothing else, it might break uh, Wednesday's high, which was 1350. So if it gets over that, might make a move to the 200 day, which is 1436. If it does that in one session, that's a nice trade. So we'll keep our eyes on that one for a setup. SPHS, um, kind of back down to recent support and a nice green candle today. We'll look for a continuation of that bounce tomorrow. Um, CERS got an intraday spike today on, um, oh, Zika virus news. And it's actually a decent chart anyway. You had a breakout, now you're a couple days lower, kind of found equilibrium today, decent volume. So I'll be looking for that one to push higher tomorrow, only with a proper intraday setup. Sound like a broken record. And then CHNR, all the out of the blue, big volume spike, and uh, you know closed in about the middle of its range, but maybe a follow through day tomorrow. Um, you know that's my watch list. We will also add gappers in the morning. Um, I thought I had one other I wanted to put on there, but oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to show ADXS today. Um, if you look at it, now take today's candle out of it. I just wanted to highlight this real quick because it was such a great call by Wayne. Um, you know, this was just on watch and it also highlights the kind of things we look for. If you see on our watch list video, right, you might see something like this on a regular basis, a stock that kind of broke out and we don't want to chase, but we say we're going to put it on watch, right? So this one was on watch today. Um, and then let's go to like two minute time frame, and I'll show you. All right. So this one gapped up a little bit, sold off a little bit and then anyway, took off and just ran, just giving no entry that you didn't feel like you were chasing this whole way up. Now these are two minute candles, so that's really for about the first 14 minutes, 15, uh, 16 minutes, something like that. And it tops out at 12, starts to sell off, and next thing you know, it's right back up at 12. Um, and you kind of have a nice little flag now. So, you know, this one, with it closing close to 11, and it's all the way up at 12, you might feel like you're chasing, but the sellers came in, and then sellers fail if this breaks through 12. So Wayne just, when it looked just like this, Wayne said, um, over 12 idea. You know, worst case stop's gonna be like 20 cents below. There's the breakout, and, and I mean, look what happens. This ends up, I'll switch to five minute candles now. Um, so there, right there is the 12 break, 20 cents risk, and it ends up going through 14 at one point. Um, so there's an example of some of the stuff we'll look for. We don't chase, we make them set up, 
and we have no idea how they're going to set up. But you know, if they give a lower setup, which uh, ADXS did, and somebody sees it and calls it Wayne did, um, that was an, a great example of how we play looking for a follow through day. Right. So um, you know, keep that kind of scenario and watch uh, in mind on uh, on all these stocks tomorrow. Um, and again, hopefully we'll find some gappers in the morning. Sometimes I get a morning gapper, make my entire daily goal and don't even have to worry about the rest of the day. Any, any other money on top of that uh, can be icing on the cake if you get a good gapper in the morning. All right. Enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll talk to you tomorrow.